Okay, I hope this is working. Um, I'm Natalie Rajcevic and I'm doing healings and all kinds of different stuff since over 20, 25 years. Um, I was asked today by the guides to um, to do a big ritual with you all together. So tonight I'm very excited what the angels want me to do and I'm very touched and pleased by that. Um, I am quite n not really nervous but I'm feeling how big this is and when I asked which angel want to come tonight to work with us, they came all. Um, so there are so many here now and, um, and I'm very pleased to just to work with you. So, I call Archangel Michael in first to start with and um, to clear the room and to surround us all and to ground us in to the earth. So what they tell me is um, these are terrible times and whenever you are touched by what is happening, please allow yourself to feel these emotions and really go into them, allow them to flow through you. So when you are in tears, just allow that to happen, to really wash your system through. and. They say whatever you are feeling, you feel it for everyone. And it's not just for you and your life, it's we have to understand that we are one being, no matter which race, no matter where we live on this earth. We are one together and whatever one of us is feeling, he or she is not just feeling it for herself, he or she is feeling it for all. And so it helps to release and to transform these emotions for all of us when each of us is feeling them and is allowing to let them flow because emotion means in movement. So to let them flow through us, to let them release through us so that new energy is allowed and is able to come in. It doesn't matter if you feel the same than your neighbor. It's important that that part that is coming through you with your feelings is going through you and is allowed to express through you and to be, be really be with that. Okay. Thank you, Rodalyn. <laughs> So I just ask Archangel Michael now to ground us and to bring us in connection to Earth. And she is very vibrant today. She is with us and she knows we are all her children. And so she wants us to come back really into this state of being children. And this is not just Mother Earth. This was what I was hearing before as well, that they want us to get back into this innocent state. And we need this innocent, this heart. Now I'm crying. I'm crying already the whole day. And I thought it's coming up now as well. But yeah, it's, it's so much bigger what is going on here. So um, we have to, we are allowed to come back to this innocent heart. To really open up to all these wonders, to all these dreams that we can connect to. That are connected to our real power to create here on earth. And this is why I called you all in today to help me and all of the angels. I just said it to the beginning. I asked who wants to be here today 
and they are all here. They're standing all around. They're all with us in this. And I really, I really want you to support all, all of us to really create some profound magic tonight or whenever you see this video, it doesn't matter. So to see that you're a part of this whole that we are and you are this whole as well. So this contradiction is the wholeness and the oneness. And so this is it what we want to do today. We really want to connect to our magic, really bring all our powers forward. And we want to leap into the dream time. And what was coming to me as well is these last week, lots of people got pictures and images from unicorns or from the rainbow snake and they both are guiding into this magic the rainbow snake is guiding into the dream time so they both are connected with this incredible power of creating what you wish from your heart so it's not the ego mind but it's the mind and your whole being that is connected to all that is and now they're all getting excited because this is what it is all about. So we worked so hard these last weeks to get to our powers, to embody our powers. And now it's really about using it in this right way now. So this is possible for us and we do that. Okay. So... I asked Archangel Michael again and all the others, Mother Earth, to help us to ground and to clear again these emotions. Root us down into Mother Earth. And Spirit Most High stepping in straight away and he wants to clear the resentment against myself, so against yourself. Because um, this is that what is in the way often for us. So I ask him and I ask you to say yes and to allow that to happen. Spirit must I to clear all the resentments against myself on all four levels of your minds. And they say when we really love ourselves completely, we are so much more powerful to really work our magic in this life on this planet okay so just for the ones that are just now stepping in. So the angels asked me to do today with you all, to involve you all into this ceremony, um, to really create a magically space, to really change our past in human history. And this is about the last millenniums when it doesn't go further back. So I was busy with that the last two months and I was going back 2,000 years, working on suppression, slavery, racism, you know. Um, so it's not just what is happening now. It's not just 300 years. It's not just in the U.S. We all know that. It's all around our whole globe. And today they asked me to invite you all to join our powers, to join our magic, to really change that, these patterns and all what is involved. And I really need you to, to not just participate not just to receive yes for sure as well but also to bring your power your magic in to feel with it to be aware of what we are going through tonight or for me it's tonight for you it's perhaps today wherever you are in the world um, and to work with me this magic so we worked these last weeks really deeply to empower our powers more in our magic and now it's the time to really use that, use that for the highest good of all. We all are involved in that, 
most of us are aware that they are not just in this life here, that they had other lives and we had for sure different colors on our skin. So it doesn't matter which color, which color you have now. I mean, for sure, it matters for this life, but not for this theme that I want to work with you on with all these angels. Though they are all today here, I asked who wants to work with them. They're all here. They're all surrounding. It's really big time and it goes centuries, centuries back and even further than our planet, I believe. So um, I ask you to really join, to really be aware what is happening, to really be active with us, to hold the room for it and to really feel it also what is happening. Hi Phyllis. And I'm quite nervous. I don't know why, but it feels quite big. And I just um, asked you to be with me in that. And um, I'm crying already the whole day. And um, yes, so just be with me in that. And let us really bring magic tonight into this, what is happening on this planet. So for so long, and really to clear it and heal it from the root wherever this came from, okay? So again, I ask Archangel Michael to come into the room and clear again all of my emotions for sure and yours too and to ground us into Mother Earth very deeply. And I just worked before, so I asked for the others again, the Spirit Most High is clearing all the resentments against myself. So this was coming up so that we all getting cleared about our resentments against ourselves. So Spirit Most High, do that please again. It's already moving energy on all four levels of our minds. Through all time and space. And what they said and what I'm hearing now again, it's when we are more in our power and loving ourselves and our power, we can bring even deeper magic to the earth and to all of us. Okay, <laughs> what I'm now hearing, because it's, you know, <laughs> I can't get serious about that, but they want us to do that in this loving, joyful um, way. And what I said before, <laughs> no, perhaps I'm crying again, it's about being this innocent child again in your heart. So this innocent heart, what can imagine everything, what it dreams of, you know, as you could when you were small. So this is the power that we need, this playful, joyful, imaginary part of you, the inner child, inner heart, that is bringing this future onto our planet that we wish or that you wish to the highest good of all. And just let me listen. Okay, so they ground your heart now also into Mother Earth. And it's really this allowness that you can give yourself in, you're not being silly, you're not being stupid, you know, you're going with one of these superpowers that we have to really co-create, to really create the reality that we are in. And uh, how could we use it better than, you know, in these times that we are now in to really change what is happening here? So they want to clear our hearts to from our pain, from all the sadness, from all the emotions, from all the rage that was going through them in these last days especially. But this is going back through centuries and millenniums as well. So they want to clear that habit of all these old feelings they got trapped in there to clear them that we can breathe freely and that we can create freely. So just allow that to, to, to feel that your heart in the front and the back is opening more and more as they flow it and it looks as if they flow with different colors, energy color through your heart. And the heart is not just your tiny heart, it's like the whole energy field around your whole body 
that's the heart of yours. And they want to invite you to come into the state of I am. So I just ask Creator to download you with the state of I am. The energy and the being of I am on all four levels of your mind. And to release all your self-doubts, all your worries, all your negative thoughts about yourself. Also on all four levels of your mind. Thank you, Joanna. And what is coming now to mind is why this is touching me so deeply. So I think it's nice to hear that as well. It's even I'm not black. And um, we have that in Germany, a history of a very bad history of not accepting people from other races. And I was working in that my whole life. Um, I was blessed in a way that I wasn't born with a German passport. I had a special passport and this passport is one of the, was one of refugees. So it's like an, um, yeah, you, you, you're, you're not German, but still you have the German rights. So it was homeless for, for homeless people worldwide. Um, so I was feeling more as a, citizen of the whole world most of the time of my life. It's now a few years that I'm German and have a German passport. But when I was growing up, this was the picture that I had. It was like being a citizen of the earth. And I could hardly imagine, and it's still the way I feel, that people are so um, trapped to their country. Um, I love my country that I'm growing up and that I was born in for sure and I love lots of other countries too but I love this whole earth you know this is where where I belong to here in this universe <laughs> and so this is the vision that they gave me today it's that we are all from this earth we are children of this earth and I know it sounds a bit esoteric but for me, it's not. For me, it was this, what I was raised in, the feeling of being a citizen of the earth. And this is, you know, this is this innocent child. I was a child when I was feeling that, but it colored my life. It colored how I perceive reality. It colored how I look at racism and all the other things. And so I want to invite you to join me to really open your heart and and to leave all these thoughts, if it is possible or not, and how this will look like, away. And to open to this miraculous mind to envision that we have a future where we all are citizens of this earth. And we are going along with each other as brothers and sisters on this earth. So this is the vision that they gave me today and this is what we are working towards today. Um, yes, so this is um, why, why I feel called, why they brought this to me, I think. So, okay, I'm really sorry that I'm so nervous, but this is, is really going so deeply for me and it's been going so deeply past in our humankind history here on earth. And um, so, yeah, just bear with me today, please. Okay, so. 
Okay, I'm just hearing that now all, all the angels, all the masters, Mother Earth and all the other beings, they are here with us and they're all here. They're just bowing at the moment before all of us. They're taking part now, later or wherever they do similar work. For that what we're doing here. And they say it's the recognition that your heart is no different from the heart of someone else. And that your truth from the heart is not different from the truth of the heart from someone else. And they say it's just the minds there have differences often, but the hearts often speak the same language. And we all have heard that so often, but it's good to hear it now. Okay. Okay, they want us again to connect all our hearts with Mother Earth. And they bow down and they say these appreciation, they also connect down to Mother Earth. And I'm seeing that with this appreciation of this work, that there are flowering, flowers growing all over the earth. And they say now it's really about this innocent child-like being that perhaps some people will laugh about when you're in this way but this is what will create the new future this is what will bring these flowers from earth that will help you to dance and joy above our earth and to create that what hasn't been there before really new paradigmas new way of living And now it feels as if our hearts, they're connected to earth, are turning in like to golden rivers. They're going into the earth and all around blessing everything that is on earth. And this is this golden energy is like valuing, evaluating. So it's like valuating everything that is on earth. Everyone, every single being, every plant, every tree, every living organism, and the earth itself as well. Okay, now they ask us to bow, if you haven't bowed yet, to bow as well. And they say, you have to see that you are really part of this wonder. You're part of this wonder of life here on earth. Okay, and again, allow yourself to appreciate yourself. And they say, touch your body to appreciate your body. Touch your soul to appreciate your soul. And also appreciate your soul for whatever she went through. Through all her past lives, all her incarnations. And for some of them, perhaps this is not just on earth, so but it doesn't matter. Also, other stars have similar patterns that we have here on earth. So it doesn't matter when you're here, then you also feel called to, to work with these patterns today and, and I'm happy for that. Okay. I'm now feeling that lots of gray energy is losing, is, is going through us, through our feet into the earth. It doesn't matter what this is all, just allow it to release. It seems like all belief systems just in energy form. And it's funny that they go through the body, but often our belief systems are trapped in the body 
and so we can release them in this way as well. Okay, again, Spirit Most High, I ask you to ground us to the earth. To clear any hooks and cores and also clear any traumatic pictures in our minds that we have seen now or in the past through all four levels of our minds. Clear and cut any cords from, you know, where, where, from all the relationships where you have these step between above and below that one of you is above, the other is below. To clear the, these relationships also through all lifetimes on all four levels of your minds. And ask all the angels and masters to help us with that, to clear that in the highest good for all. From the core. I also ask Spirit Most High to clear us from all the shock and all the feeling of being unable to speak, to speak up, to say our opinion or to just to open our mouth loud to express what wants to be expressed through us on all four levels of our minds, on all from the core of all that is. Thank you, creators, done, done, done. So bad it is. Okay. What I also felt all these last days when I was working with this theme, and perhaps you can help me with that, I saw still lots of souls here on the planet. They're still suffering in their past lives where they are still are hanging in this theme. Um, and I want to ask you to help me and all the angelic beings, especially the angels there for the transmission to bring these souls, these lost souls back to the light if they want to. So our spirit must high in all the angels there for the transition to help all these souls to really lift from earth and go into the light if they wish to. And whenever you feel an emotion, you feel like crying, just a lie. I said it in the beginning, we are part of this whole and we are expressing expression and expressing the whole. So allow this to move through you. You are expressing a part of that, what is, what is happening for the ones they can't. I don't know if you feel that, but it's, get, it's getting much lighter around the earth. And we just ask for help that all these souls, they still are so full of pain and sorrow that they get what they need, all this unconditional love. So I ask great of all that is to download all of us, dead or alive, with unconditional love. They get illuminated with all what they need and that they can find their family again. that they can find back to their source, 
back to where they came from, where they belong to. Here and there, lots of tears being cried. That's good. I thank all the angels, all the masters, everyone who's helping to speed that up and to release all these souls. They're still trapped. But they're nearly done. And it's often we, we were um, not in peace when we, when we left this life and not in peace with earth or not in peace with the source, however you call this. Um, and now I'm seeing that few of them are, are reconnecting again with earth from their heart as we did just now, you know, before bouncing and really connecting our, our heart with the earth. And then they can go in peace. And even in happiness. So that's really good. Because then they can support us all here in another way from the other realm. Okay, now there's the rainbow snake coming in as well. I just told that rainbow snake and unicorns were coming up the last weeks for a lot of people and they both help us to go into this dream time and into this magical realm to really create from this magical realm as well. So now the rainbow snake is coming in. And she is also helping, interesting, to um, these souls to really go to the source. And she's speaking about that there are spe that there is a special power coming back to the earth, and it has a lot to do with the dream time, and being able to connect the ordinary daily life with this dream time realm. And she says, on one side, the rainbow is staying in her signature for this wonder and the magic, but on the other side, the rainbow is staying for all these different people, all these different colors, all these different humans, all these different beings here on earth. I finished the transition now. Yeah, I also saw the, the rainbow <laughs> in there. <laughs> okay, let me see. Okay, I ask Spirit Most High to clear, cancel, resolve all this behavior of and thought patterns and modules, whatever is connected to that on any level, to the theme of racism, racism, and to put someone above or below you so that we are able to be on eye level with each other. Our spirit must hide to clear that on all four levels of our minds as it is in the highest good for us, 
from the core of its existence. Okay, and it feels, I don't know how it feels for you, can, you can let me know, but it feels as if it's um, going further back, it's not originated on Earth, so I ask that it is uh, being solved there where it's originated, it's on another planet. Be clear, cancer resolved and heal completely to its perfection on all four levels of our minds, core, its existence. This pattern and everything that is connected to it as it is in our highest good now and forever. So that it may be and so that it is. Well, I'm getting goosebumps all over. And they say this will remove a lot of thought patterns that we're used to work in, live in, be in. It's as if our minds are getting freer now, able to think really. Yeah, to clear all the agreements as well, that's good. Jill, thank you. Oh, my dog is going with us. <laughs> Okay, this is clearing a lot in around the the um, crown chakra, around the whole head area, all the chakras involved. It goes even down the whole body. And this is funny now. Unicorn energy is coming in. It's funny, the rainbow snake was more in the earth and now the, the unicorn energy is more uh, in the higher levels, in the air. <sighs> okay, so they say they're done. You can move perhaps a bit and stretch. <sighs> this is going deep, guys. So after this, drink a lot. You will need lots of sleep the next days. Allow that, allow that to happen. It goes really on a cellular level, completely down. So the high energy, my dog is going crazy now. <laughs> How are you feeling? Okay. Yes, unicorns. Okay, I also want to have a listen what they want to do next. Okay. They want me to do some downloads. So I start with them or just clear things. Now we clear afterwards again. Okay, so they want to do some downloads here. So they want to download you with, and I think this has to do with, you know, it's always the contradiction as well in, you know, everything what is happening is good. And at the same time, we can, we can change it. So everything is perfect and still, you know, it isn't. <laughs> um, so I asked you, I asked creator to download you or creatrix, however you want to call it. I'm used to do it with spirit most high or creator. Um, but you can have that in your mind as you wish. And if you want to have that and have it for us all, it's always the focus for the whole um, earth, our humankind, then say yes, please, and support that. Creator of all that is, I ask you to clear cancer and resolve. No, no, I'm in the other thing. Okay, clear cancer and resolve what? Okay, repar repression, okay, they want to do that first. So ask them to clear cancer resolve all, sp all f spaces of repression and suppression on all four levels of our minds 
and it's meant in ourselves what we do to ourselves and it's meant what we do to others or others do to us so better it may be and so better it is from the core This feels like it's going back to a stone age somehow. It's more on an emotional level. Now it's very much high to also clear all the agreements, all the contracts, everything that is connected to that and to cut and clear any cords they were made there they hold us bound they hold us down let us believe that we are not a high species So it feels as if at this time it has given like different species of developments from, from humans. And so they had this pattern all already going on. So I ask that all, all of that, all this history is being clear, cancer resolved as it is in the highest good of all, transformed from the core. And there is a lot of hate and rage involved as well. So I ask them to clear that as well from the core. And now they say it's about taking the power back. So it's, you know, in these situations, we often as humans lost our power. So they ask us to take our power back. So I want you all to take your power back, to allow all humans to take their power back through all time and space. And I was created to download us to know how to take our powers back, how to take our powers in and how to stand in our powers peacefully, truthful, connected to our hearts, in our heart space, still in our power. And this is what we are in this month, the, the energy of the elix. She is the warrior queen, she is the big mother, and still the warrior, and she has her power, and she is full of magic. She was the one who was fighting armies of people just by her magic. You know, not that we want that to do, but it's just the power that we have to take back. So take your power back and allow all of us to take our power back. Great of all that is, Spirit Most High, God, Goddess, however you call it, source of all that is, help us to take our power back. Or just state now, I take my power back. And you are rep representative for the all, for, for everyone, for the past that we are now at the moment connected. Okay, I step into my wholeness. Just say that loud out. I step into my power. I step into my wholeness. And they say when we do that, then we are whole and we can't be attacked or suppressed or however so easily. So I ask Archangel Raphael and all the other angels, there's Raziel and... Metatron and all kinds of different 
angels coming in to bring healing into this situation. And I asked him to bring this healing through all the time, through the generations back to this now and here and now that we are now in. And again down, they, they still go into the earth there. Still re releasing contracts and connection. Then they say it's like all these yeah, it's about the power struggle in the solar plexus as well. So I asked all the angels to clear all the solar plexus from us and there and all four levels of our minds. Okay, and they say now what will happen through this is that everyone will be able to raise in its own beauty again, you know, because we are all beautiful as every flower is beautiful, you know, there is no point in uh, comparing them and this being able to unfold again this beauty, um, so this will bring that. And for sure, having the power back and really standing more upright in your life, truthful. Okay. Okay, they asked me again to clear all the slavery, so we will see what it guides us now. Great of all that is, I ask you to clear all the patterns of slavery, all the pictures, all the past. Yeah, we started that before we did the transition. <laughs> um, okay, clear this through all levels and all four levels of our minds. So it is in the highest good of all, one all. Okay. Do you feel that it's much different than the first time? It's moving a lot of energy at the moment from the planet. It's clearing a lot of space. And this brings me to what they told me as well. Whatever we experience here, so what, whatever, whenever it is war or whatever is happening, it's not just stored in our body, it's also stored in the land. So what is happening now, it's this pattern is moving out of the earth. So this energetic pattern of slavery is being transformed and the rainbow is there as well. I don't know if you can see it. It's all moving. And transforming. And again, for all the people that came now to it, today it's really, I need all your help to hold the room, to allow that to happen. We all take our power, all our magic, and really step into this, what this century is about, to really create with our magic. So just follow in being aware of what is happening, feeling it, seeing it, and just witnessing it with me. And there's so many beings with us helping us in that because they know it's very important for our peace and how it's going along with us and with earth in future. So now it feels the circle of this rainbow energy changed and it's now coming directly from the source to mother earth down to her core and it's really illuminating the whole planet. And they say they download new, now the whole planet and everyone what is living on it. Um, 
with a new paradigmas, with, with new knowledge, with new um, patterns and thought, thought patterns as well. They are open to all this magic and they are open to being equal, to being on an eye level with each other, to live equally here on earth together as one human kind here on earth or many <laughs> but still one family I hope you don't hang yourself on to my words but I hope you understand what I'm what I try to express And they say it's also being transformed lots of old knowledge that is coming now back to our earth, being open, being for us able to, to receive it and connect to it. It's really a big download. And they say it, it, it really is depending how our future is, 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 will be, what we can imagine. And so these new downloads of thought patterns were to really open up our horizon so that we are able to imagine things that we couldn't imagine before. Sometimes because of these old things that we released before, these old stories but also because the energy wasn't as high as she gets now to, to receive these thought patterns so that they could stay here. Okay, it's funny now, the animals are very strongly today in here. So now I'm, I'm getting aware of, I don't know if some of you too, um, of some whales and dolphins in the sea and just hearing their songs. And it feels as if they are receiving the blessing too. And they remind us that it's not just about the one family of humans here on earth, it's about the one family of all beings here on earth. So it doesn't matter if you're a human, animal, tree, plant, whatever, as I said in the beginning too. I really want us to acknowledge that, to honor every life here on earth. And to see that we are one part in this whole orchestra here on earth. So I started a bit late, so I will go a bit over time. I hope few of you have still some time. Okay, I want to download now <laughs> what I wanted before. <laughs> Creator of all that is, creatrix, goddess, God, source of all that is, however you call this for yourself, what is truth for yourself to connect to your highest um, source. I ask to download us with, I understand the creator's or source definition of accuracy. I understand what it feels like to be accurate. I know how to be accurate in the highest and best way. I know how to live my daily life accurately. <laughs> And I know the creator's perspective on accuracy. Thank you, it is done, done, done on all four levels of our minds. If you want to receive that for us all, then say yes. Often in the first part, sometimes it doesn't make any sense, but this is what they ask me to download us with.
Okay. Now they want me to download you with uh, trust, having trust and believing yourself. Believing yourself and your intuition. <laughs> and they say now this accuracy, it's, it's another <laughs> way what I said before, when we love ourselves completely. But it goes further. It says that you're accurate, to acknowledge that you're accurate and to see this accuracy in everything, what you go through and what you feel. And they say this, this will enable you, this will make you more able to really speak up when you trust that it's accurate what you feel, what you see, what you hear, what you know, who you are, what you have to say, where you have to go, what you have to do, or what you have to not do, or whatever it is. So to trust in your own accuracy. Wow. So I ask them to ground us as well, this also into the earth, through all the levels. Okay, and then they wanted us to download with answers. <laughs> so it's also about the connection to your higher self, to your higher soul, um, your, your source. So I ask the source of all that is, God, God is, to download us with answers come to me easily. I understand the source definition of having the answers to questions. I understand what it feels like to receive answers through the source. I know the answers. I know when to have answers. I know how to have the highest and best answers. I know the creator's perspective on answers. I know it is possible to receive answers through the creator. Thank you, the source creator, God is God being done, done, done so better on all four levels of our minds. Okay, let us really go into the body. I feel that my body is starting to move to really get this energy in taking in on the cellular level, really into your whole being, in all your cells. And they say this is another part that connects us with this power, with this magic. Yes, definitely wonderful. It is done, it is done, it is done. And ask Creator to remove everything what will stand in the way to really let this in and really let it sink in on a cellular level to really transmute us all as it is in the highest good. And it's always free will here on earth. Nobody gets uh, pushed or punished. <laughs> it's just the, the possibility for everyone. OK, 
Yeah, and I'm feeling now that these energies are going more and more onto earth as well, from the etheric level, really into earth as well, into the ground. <clears throat> and they say this will go into all our lives, really, deeply on an essential level. And they say, really, this will bring so much more fun and joy. I'm just seeing these unicorns again jumping around. Hi, Elaine. Okay, I asked all the angels and spirit must high or the other beings to help us to clear whatever needs to be cleared on earth for that, to really bring it there where it belongs to, what isn't in the highest good for this transformation as it is in the highest good for all. And they say, be aware, whatever you do on these levels, it's uh, not a game. It's reality. And often the things that are happening, like last year, the fires and the waters, you know, they came from heavens in Australia. They were all connected to millions of people who were meditating for Australia last year in autumn. So be aware this work is real. It's not a game, it's real and it's powerful. And this is why I invited uh, you, why I asked you, um, because I was being asked to do that, um, to join all of us together to work our magic here. Okay, now they clear our hearts again. On a collective level, all four levels of our minds back to the source, back to the core, how it is needed at this time, as it is in the highest good of all. <laughs> and they say, you shall um, listen to music in these next days. You shall listen to that, what is making you laugh or giving you joy, lighting you up. So that you can listen to the song of your heart stronger and really go further deeper into this innocent heart, your innocent self, to allow it to really raise its power again and go through all levels of your being so that you can step with that and your power and your magic to really create and it's always for all of us and the highest good for all for every wish for everything what you do in this case in this space always at on the end to the highest good of all or to the best of all of us, however you feel it right for you. So it's not just one single mood, it's like for the highest good. And again, they uh, say it again to the end, trust your God, trust your feelings, trust your heart and go with that, really. This is how we create the new paradigm here on earth. Yes, and so it is still, <laughs> so better it is. Okay, I just want to ask you, I ask them if they want to, how, what they want to do to close it. Everyone who stepped in now on, on the late session, please do them for the beginning. It's, it doesn't matter if you are here for life or in the replay. Um, what we did here or we are doing here is really for the for all of us here on earth. Um, please, please do that work. You would make me and I think lot, many of hearts very happy. Thanks a lot for that, really. Um, okay, so I asked 
Spirit Most High Archangel Michael to clear our spaces and Spirit Most High wants to step in and to balance our sides and our polarities. Okay, there's something else coming up, so sorry, but um, they went also to clear because I have the feeling we were now a lot in black and white or other races, but we had that between male and uh, women as well. So I asked them to clear also. Um, please be with me. <laughs> I know it's exhausting, but please. <laughs> um, to clear, or it's not so exhausting, but um, to clear. All these patterns, they're similar to these that we released just now between men and women, male and female, and our whole human humanity through all four levels of our minds as it is in the highest good from the core. Thank you. That's interesting. It's also not belonging to Earth. It didn't start here. It's also going further back to another planet. Or another system so just stay with me and allow that that it's being cleared completely from the core so it is in the highest good of all and this is about the God and goddess in all of us so that they can step forward again each one of that in each one of us And I'm very curious to hear what is happening, happening during the session, but also after the session with you. Um, just write me, email me, message me, whatever is easiest for you. I'm very curious. Wow, we get lifted so many things at the moment, so great. Do you feel that? Okay, and again, this is it's interesting. It's as the last time, it's again connected to lots of thought patterns, a lot of um how we are able to perceive reality, what is around us, what is in us, what is happening. So this will change through that as well. They're just working on the vertebral at the moment. We have lots of connections, you know, all the nerves and everything. But it's also energetically, uh, you know, the, the, the middle center that is connected there as well. The middle spinal cord is connected to the energetic um, line that is going straight through the forgotten English thought, but that is going straight away through the through the whole body. And they say it's really it's really changing your perceivement of the whole uh, life. Everything what is happening in your life as well. Okay, they're now clearing also like um, foreign body parts and so on. It doesn't matter, they're just doing it. And it's again this pattern of, um, it's not just an earth, it's like this pattern of being um, dominated by some other uh, knowledge or thought patterns or whatever it is or some other race, it doesn't matter. So this is clearing now as well everything what was um, put into anyone connected to that on awful levels of our mind. Thank you, it is done, done, done.
I'm very curious to hear if you feel that, if your strong, strong thought patterns, strong viewpoints have changed after this in a few days. Uh, by the way, they said it will take at least seven days to really integrate that. So I want to invite you to be very kind with that. And I will see if I um, am able to show up live every day to do like just a little um, energetic work to connect you to that. I will see what comes up every day. It will not be long, just a few minutes, up to 10 minutes perhaps. But to support you and everyone who wants to go with that to really get these patterns that you worked on now completely transformed and they say seven days at least so i will try to do that and as always it doesn't matter if you are live with me because for some of you it will be in the middle of the night or if you do that in replay it doesn't matter just tune you in the time space doesn't matter in this work okay i set up the space always that it's there wherever you are, whenever you are, you know, it doesn't matter, okay? But just please join us all to get this cleared. It's so, so important at the moment. Okay, I think that was it. Oh, I have gel pumps all over. So, ask them to clear the space around us. And what happened also that, yeah, ask them to bring all the soul fragments. They want to come back. They haven't yet, but they were coming some between. Come back to ground us back to Mother Earth. And Father Sky to illuminate us with our own light to help us and allow us to really shine that sorry completely free whenever I'm burping it's just energy moving through my body and now I want you to imagine that you really hug yourself completely your whole being it's big who you are and the earth and all existence as well and seeing yourself in all, in all existence, as if you are mirrored in all these different parts that you see. And really loving yourself in all. And really give yourself thanks that you joined me here and that you bear to the end. And if you do it again, it's really great. Appreciate what you did, what you're doing, who you are. For what you're staying on this earth the light that you're carrying the light that you bring to earth and to all of us the joy and the pleasure your heart your childiness your innocent also your hate and rage all these emotions whatever however it is expressing in you acknowledge them love them Accept them. Be as you are. Okay, Spirit Must High, Mother Earth, I ask you to kiss yourself in us and align us with you, with both of you. Now our highest good. And we all are drawing now back our energies into our own heart because we were all in the collective in everything what is and we take deep breath and every breath brings us further back to ourselves in our heart and our spirit must high and archangel market to clear and cut any cards that were building in this way today through session for all of us and to help everyone to step back into its own space into its own heart into your own heart as archangel Raphael and Raziel and Metatron to surround you with a strong, loving bubble to fill you up and to heal your bubble as it is in your highest good, to connect you with a source above and the source below, and really bring some peace into your heart and your system, you back to its perfection.
and be your bubble be protective for you as it is in your highest good leaving anything what is in your highest good in and out letting everything what isn't in your highest good staying outside and going where it belongs to back so better it is and so better it is Okay, move your body. Really move it from the tips to the toes completely. This was really <laughs> a big ride. Thanks a lot for joining me and all these angels. Everyone who was with us, so many good souls. Thanks a lot from my heart. Yes, Rosalind. You're welcome, Sonia. Alina, not today. There were lots of messages. It's for all of us today. You're welcome, Hedy. Okay. I wish you all the best. Go in peace and joy and laughter on this earth. Let me know how you're doing. And I hope to see you. I will go live, um, I think, just on my, um, on my own page. It's Traditionelle Heilkunst und Erdmagie. I will write it down so that you can join and look up the next seven days. Um, to really get that uh, completely moving and really that it's really anchored in completely. So feeling so blessed and happy that you all joined. Thanks a lot. And if you know someone who wants to work with that too, for whom it's important, just share. I don't mind. Just share this video. Give it along. It's really my um, deepest um, yeah, wish to really have that completely transformed to our highest good. Yeah, so take care, love you, bye, stay safe. <laughs>